Hello everyone, this is SMD Mazarulda, Assistant Professor, Tripi Department, ISL Engineering College. I am doing the subject Utilization of Electrical Energy and today we are going to discuss about the topic Coefficient of Adhesion. As we already discussed about the topic, that is uh, we are having the traction motors and movement of uh, the traction and also we have discussed about different uh, curves, speed time curves. So one of the part is also called as the Adhesion. Adhesion means where the wheel is going to be staying on the track. So the coefficient of attention is one important topic that is to be discussed now. So let's move into the topic. The coefficient of attention in traction. What is it? In coefficient of attention in traction, the task of driving equipment consists of pushing the carriage on which it is mounted and pulling the coaches and wagons behind it. Wheels coupled to the motors either directly or through a reduction gear system. and they are known as driving wheels. When a motor runs, the driving wheels in the effort uh, are called traction meters and when motor runs, driving wheels in their effort for rotation exert a frictional force on the track, tangentially backward at points of contact between the driving wheels and the track. During studying of this uh, moment of this uh, track or moment of traction, uh, we have studied about the pinion and the wheel like that. So that in that one we are having this coefficient of adhesion. So in the coefficient of adhesion, the task of driving equipment consists of pushing the carriage on which it is mounted and pulling the coaches and wagons behind it. Wheels coupled to the motors either directly or through a reduction gear and are known as driving wheels. When motors run, driving wheels in their effort for rotation exert a frictional force on the track. So this is tangentially backward points of contact between the driving wheels and the track. As a result, what happens is the driving wheels experience a reaction in the forward direction. Consequently, the wheels and the carriage move in the forward direction. So, you are, if you are understanding this one, then the, here it is somewhat like uh, the force uh, that uh, we talk about the forces acting in the direction. So, if uh, as a result, driving wheels experience a reaction in the forward direction. Consequently, the wheels and the carriage move in the forward direction. So it is uh, 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 by the force that is acting upon the wheels. If at the points of contact between driving wheel and the track, the force applied is large. The wheels may slip, then the wheels turn but carriage means stationary. So there should be a proper balance between them. A very important factor in traction drives is coefficient of adhesion that is mu a. It provides a quantitative measure of tendency of wheels to slip in is defined as the wheels turns but carriage remains the stationary. So a very important factor, so I am talking about this, a very important factor in traction drives is coefficient of adhesion. Mu A is already designated symbol for it, mu A and uh, mu suffix A and here the coefficient of adhesion in traction provides a quantitative measure of the tendency of wheels to slip and is defined as the following way that the mu a is equals to maximum track to effort that can be applied without slipping of wheels divided by weight on the driving axles. This is the formula for uh, adhesion. Coefficient of adhesion is maximum track to effort that can be applied without slipping of wheels divided by weight on the driving axles. So it is a formula that is to be remembered while uh, some prob solving some problems you might be getting this uh, uh, coefficient of adhesion finding find the coefficient of adhesion he may give you like uh, what is the track to effort and uh, what is the driving axles weight and uh, he will be asking you to find out the coefficient of adhesion or else he might be asking you to find out the weight on the driving axles then you need to use this formula now weight on the driving axles is also the weight on the driving wheels now it is also known as adhesive weight Tractive effort is the total force at rims of driving wheels and therefore it is proportional to the motor torque. The value of the coefficient of adhesion in traction depends on the condition of surfaces of driving wheels and track at the point of contact. The coefficient of adhesion is somewhat analogous to coefficient of friction. Like uh, we will be talking about friction also and here there is adhesion. So we will be making a point here that the coefficient of adhesion is somewhat analogous to coefficient of friction. Why later depends, later means the coefficient of friction depends on conditions at one point of contact, the former, the, the previous one, the former depends on conditions at several points of contact. 
so it is only one point of contact for the this particular attention uh, and for friction it is several points of contacts so this is very clear here that attractive efforts is a total force at rims of driving wheels and therefore it is proportional to the motor torque we have got two points here that is proportional to the motor torque and the value of coefficient that depends upon the condition of surface of driving wheels and the track of the point of contact now we have seen that the equation that equation what we did it have said mu a is equals to the equation suggests that for a given value of coefficient of attraction in traction there is a maximum value of torque that can be applied without the slipping of driving wheels this in turn places restriction on the maximum value of acceleration so it makes a point here that to understand the coefficient of attraction in traction a maximum value of torque can be applied without slipping of driving wheels this in turn places restriction on the maximum value of acceleration so this is the point to be understood here that uh, the uh, maximum value of acceleration ha uh, will be having some restriction when a wheel of train slips at start it slides again the same point on the rail nothing but uh, if the rail train uh, wheel slips means it doesn't move forward it slips means it rotates on the same place so due to friction and heat produced the rail surface is damaged at the point of contact commonly called burning of track so this is nothing but uh, the wheel is uh, just not moving uh, forward but it is moving in its own direction like a motor so this uh, due to friction the burning is caused to the track and is called as burning of track now it further increases the tendency to slip as a result the life of track and wheels reduce in road vehicles if wheel slip occurs when vehicle is already in motion it all not only reduces the life of the tires but can lead to serious accidents as a driver loses complete control on the vehicle that is why every care is taken in electrical vehicles to avoid wheel slip so these wheel slip is should be avoided so as to uh, be careful from the serious accidents as well as some hazardous things to happen it may also lead to the burning of the rail also the coefficient attraction in traction depends on many factors such as what are described now they are uh, type and condition of surface at point of contact like vehicle speed like nature of motor speed torque characteristics motor connections type of mo power modulator all these are the uh, factors uh, coefficient of attraction in traction depends on some factors these factors are mainly this uh, four things only where you will be having these things to be involved in uh, the traction movement so these play important role for the movement of the train like uh, very important as you seen that surface just now as the vehicle speed also matters nature of motor speed torque characteristics which type of motor we are using and which uh, power the speed torque and of the motor the connections also plays an important role because because the loose connections may even have some uh, ill effects on the traction motor now the type of power modulator what is a power modulator a power modulator means a rectifier or an inverter or which modulates the power a power joint device is called as a power modulator now this power modulation should be done in such a way that it should be efficient there should be less losses and all these five categories uh, uh, will lead to a proper traction efficiency now the coefficient of friction what we are discussing uh, in that the question of friction also being discussed several times in the topic the coefficient of friction and therefore the coefficient of attraction depends on the nature of material used for making the track and wheels and also the conditions of the tracks and wheel surfaces presence of oil land grease water snow and mud reduces the coefficient of attraction so this attraction uh, is uh, nothing but the similar to a coefficient of friction only so the coefficient of attraction also depends upon the oil grease water snow and mud so this reduces the coefficient of attraction electrical buses uh, possessing rubber tires rolling on metal road have much higher coefficient of attraction than electric trains having steel wheels rolling on steel rails why because the rubber is different and the, the wheels that are made of steel uh, are different and they are having different coefficient of attraction the coefficient of attraction in the traction decreases with the increase in speed as we have discussed discuss uh, already the coefficient of attraction in traction decreases with increase in speed so remember the point here 
what i am trying to explain is uh, the coefficient of attention in traction decreases with increase in speed whenever speed is more coefficient of attention is less it is inversely proportional the nature of variation is uh, already shown here if oil grease water snow and mud fall on the rail or on wheel surface it will be shifted towards left the characteristics what i am going to show now in the figure but i am talking about that one and uh, whenever there is no oil no grease and water snow the characteristics may be different so let us see now how it is being handled so relation between train speed v and coefficient of attention c suffix a so it is uh, having a line that is from v to ca we are having a slanting line but uh, as he said that uh, in the topic that whenever the mud or some snow or some oil or grease is found on the wheel the coefficient of attention decreases as and therefore the point ca what is shown here will also reduce will also reduce to a this uh, shift towards left okay so so it also depends on the nature of speed torque characteristics of driving motor and as a higher value for motor with low regulation of speed that is when for a given increase of speed drop in torque is large when a wheel slips the speed of driving motor increases the torque drops by large amount in motors with low regulation of speed and the wheels regain their grip on rails immediately avoiding the slip so it depends on the nature of speed torque as a driving motor i am saying again and again that it has a higher value for motor uh, that with the low regulation of speed when for given increase of speed drop in the torque is large when wheel slips the speed of driving motor also increases the torque drops by large amount in motors with low regulation of speed and wheels regain the grip on the rails immediately avoiding the slip due to the high speed in a locomotive more than one motor are employed they may be connected in suitable series and parallel combinations the ability so the ability of the locomotive to cross a section of the track with low adhesive coefficient depends on this combination of series parallel connection to understand this let us consider a case of two motors with the option of connecting them either in series or in parallel the power modulator can always be designed to obtain the voltage suitable for any of these connections so let us see what are these uh, things that are to be discussed here and for the adhesive coefficient and uh, as discussed in this slide the adhesive coefficient depends on the combination of series parallel combination only so to understand this uh, we have to consider the motors which are having the series or parallel connection with the help of the two motors what is a power modulator and how they are obtained uh, designed to obtain voltage suitable for these connections due to the bad patch on the track let the wheels coupled on the motor has some slip now the speed of this motor will increase decreasing the current and the torque when the two motors are connected in series current and torque of the other motor will also decrease and therefore decreasing the total available torque now due to the bad patch on the track these wheels coupled to one motor slip and the speed of this motor will increase decreasing the current and torque and therefore when the two motors are connected in series current and torque of the other motor will also decrease why because they are both in series the current effect in the both the motor will be the same now decreasing the total available torque here so we have studied some uh, thing that uh, when the motors are in series what happens when the speed increases and therefore what happens when the current is uh, and uh, when the current in the two motors are being decreased what happens to the torque uh, for the two motors also we have studied here in this slide now coming to the parallel when connected in parallel their current and torque are independent therefore the current and torque of other motor will not decrease here this uh, motor will have the current and torque which are not decreasing for each other because they are parallel each and uh, one motor has different uh, current and uh, they will be having different torque now the total torque will be higher and therefore uh, the according to the equation for same condition of track uh, the the equation that is mu a is equals to what we have discussed already for same condition of track coefficient of adhesion will have a higher value for parallel connection so the coefficient of adhesion will be more for parallel connection for series connection the coefficient of adhesion will be less so it is a very important bit students and uh, it can be asked as a two marks question also 
since the maximum torque that can be applied without slip is higher for a parallel connection there is a greater chance for the train to negotiate bad patch on the track without wheel slip so maximum torque that can be applied without the wheel slip is higher for a parallel connection there is a greater chance for the train to negotiate bad patch on the track without wheel slip for parallel connection of the motors so parallel connection of motors are preferred over the series connection of the motors so when the locomotive has four motors from the point of view of coefficient of attention in traction the best connection will be the motors in the parallel as i have said here so the next best will be the two pairs of series connected motors in parallel and worst will be the all four turn motors in series so for example i am telling you that for example when four motors are given to you and uh, you are uh, want a good coefficient of attention in traction then the best connection will be all motors in parallel or the second place is the next best will be two pair of series connected motors in parallel and the worst case will be all the four motors in series to which are not getting the proper coefficient of attention so one more factor that we have to discuss here is uh, about the power modulator a power modulator capable of allowing stepless change in motor voltage a stepless change in vo motor voltage refers to that uh, whenever the, there is a supply of voltage to the motor it should not be such that it should be sometimes high and sometimes low or there should not disturb in the voltage so the without any uh, change yeah i'll thought any change in the voltage if it is being supplied to the motor then it is preferable for the point of view of wheel slip if the voltage can be only be controlled in steps then at time of speed change motor torque may exceed the value at which wheel slip so if there is any speed change automatically the torque also changes and if the torque changes there may be some wheel slip for example in 25 kilo volts ac traction using tap changes the dc motor voltage can be controlled only in discrete steps whenever change over is done like tap changing has been done the voltage has been changed and the torque has been changed in that purposes like we have i am talking about the same thing here whenever change over is done to increase the speed the motor voltage increases abruptly causing a step increase in the current and torque and if the current and torque are increased the what happens is that during the transition the instantaneous value of torque is much larger okay the transition during this transition the instantaneous value of torque is much larger than uh, than would what would occur if the motor voltage is gradually increasing with the speed so yeah, this is the very easy thing to understand that whenever a change over is done to increase the speed of the motor voltage increases abruptly causing a step increase in the current and torque so during this transition uh, point the instantaneous value of torque is much larger and uh, what would occur if the motor will gradually increase in speed therefore the tendency for wheel slip is minimized if the power motor is capable of providing stepless change in the voltage why because uh, if the the speed is uh, is increased what happens is then uh, causing a step increase in current and torque thus during this transition the initial torque is much larger what would occur if the motor gradually increases speed the tendency of wheel is minimized and therefore we can uh, have a good uh, traction efficiency if the power modulator is capable of providing stepless change in the voltage now we are talking about one more uh, the important point here is the coefficient of attention as we have seen about the coefficient of attention till now uh, what is the coefficient of attention what is the formula for coefficient of attention and what factors they are depending for the coefficient of attention we have seen some five factors of coefficient of attention which are uh, depending on that like uh, uh, atmospheric conditions also the nature of metal also we are discuss and uh, we have discussed some five points about uh, which describes the coefficient of attention and which uh, has the direct effect on the coefficient of attention now coming to the point coefficient of attention in traction is also affected by the speed of response of power modulator and drive what is a drive a drive is nothing but a system which is connected with a source with a power modulator with the motor and feedback sensors so all these sensors uh, include a drive and therefore Uh, the, the coefficient of attention also depends upon the speed of the response of power modulator a power modulator is nothing but the 
power electronic device that is having fat fast acting switches and also which is capable of having a good efficiency will provide a good coefficient of adhesion as we say the inverter if it is perfect and a rectifier or a chopper whatever it is used in the traction if it is having a good uh, devices that are uh, switches that are used in that it will be having a good coefficient of adhesion so when a wheel slips the wheel slip detection circuit gives a command for the reduction of motor torque so that slipping wheel can regain the grip so this way i have said already that it is a closed loop diagram for a drive that uh, whenever some uh, speed is increased or the slipping of wheel has been uh, uh, observed or sensed then it will be sending a message or sending a signal so that the motor speed and torque can be adjusted and we can uh, have a less damage by not allowing the wheel to slip and regain the grip in a drive where the torque can be reduced faster the tendency for a wheel slip will be lower so what i want to tell into point is here in a drive as i said a drive is a closed loop system where the torque can be reduced faster the tendency for a wheel slip will be lower so it mainly depends upon the torque and speed when the speed and torque have been controlled very easily what happens is the slip of uh, the wheel will be lower and we can avoid the hazards to be happened in the traction motors or these uh, traction trains so in this uh, coefficient of attention students we have discussed about a lot of things about the attention and what are the similarities with, uh, between the coefficient of attention and coefficient of friction and what happens what is the burning of the track means so we have studied about the factors and what uh, what happens the addition in the drive also we have studied and i want to end the topic here and in the next topic i would like to uh, discuss a lot of things about the traction as well as uh, how they are being utilized in the traction so i will stop here now thank you